Shalom! This is part 2 of the CraftBox video. We are going to take a look at the inside of the CraftBox 3D printer and also the setup functions. Right, let's take a look at this uh, touchscreen LED. It's actually a 2.8 inch uh, diagonal QPGA touchscreen. Okay. You can take a look at some functions there which will allow you to do the settings. Let's just jump straight into this settings. Leveling uh, function, you just press the L button and uh, level back is a key to achieving optimal print quality and adhesion. Now we'll perform the correct calibration. So we have our spacer cut ready, and this is the spacer cut provided by Craft Unit, the manufacturer of Craft Box 3D printer. There are three black dots which will locate under the big plate one in front on the left and to the right okay you can see the nozzle is actually moving right now and probing of the Z axis is uh, proceeding the nozzle is moved to the front part we can start leveling right now by using this. Putting the spacer cut between the nozzle and the print bed and um, adjust the lock to have a small amount of resistance between the nozzle and the bed. Now we move to the far but we have the same steps. In fact, earlier I've already applied the lock, adjusted the lock, so we we'll just move on to the far left point, which is here. Hit the steps. Okay, we have successfully leveled the bed. Now we take a look inside the 3D printer. As you can see, this is the Z-axis drop and um, these two rods here. You can see all these are good quality. Uh, highly CNC milled laser uh, cut components. And that's the energy chain that allows for dual extruder head in future. And as we know, this is actually the build platform, allows build of up to 250mm uh, width, 200mm length, and 200mm uh, height. That's the um, build size. And you can see, this is actually a 0.4mm nozzle here, you can see here. Sorry. 
0.4 mm nozzle. Okay, and these are the three fans, three cooling fans. Cooling fans are very important, as you know. All this, as the plastic is being extruded, heated, and being extruded, and uh, building up layer by layer on the build plate, the cool the fan cools the material down, and it's actually a very uh, important thing. And the build plate itself, actually, as we have mentioned, actually has a built. Um, it is a heated build plate. You can see some wires coming out from PCB. The build plates, right? Okay, and you can see uh, there's a detector here, right? That detects the Y. That sorry, that detects the Z axis. And there's one more uh, level detector here. That detects the X axis. Oh. Yeah, you see, this crawlboard printer is actually a direct drive system. The stepper motor, the extruder, and, and the nozzle is actually on the same uh, build. There are other 3D printers which works on the modern drive system where the Stepper motor is on a separate location well, from the extruder. Both the direct drive and the Bowden drive system has its um, pro and cons. We're not going to dwell into that today, All right? And by the way. I'll just do a quick um, introduction of how the spool holder and the filament holder works or is mounted. We mount this thing, this is actually the um, filament holder which you can actually mount it at a suitable location and then use a hex fix screw and then just uh, tighten the thing here. Same things go for the filament for the spool holder. Mount it at a suitable location here for example and then you can just tighten the hex screw here. Well that's the end of the part 2. Thank you for viewing.